What's going on, everybody? This is another check-in for the for the YouTube vlog that I may never even publish. <laughs> uh, it is currently June first. All of these vlogs have been very, very sporadic. Listen, I've just been focused on prep and work and life, um, so I haven't been giving like a ton of updates. So I don't honestly. Again, I say this like every vlog. I have no idea where the last one left off. But currently, June 1st, uh, weighed in this week. My new low was 186 pounds, which was 0.5 pounds lower than last week. And my average weight was 0.6 pounds lower than last week as well. So why, do, why am I checking both? Because even though I may not hit a new low, average is still ticking down. So we're, we check both markers to get a feel for how my overall uh, weight is doing. If you're wondering what this hat is, by the way, um, this is for my coaching business. I had these made. Um, so they're really cool, by the way. Trust the process hats. Love them. Um, carbs currently have been at 300 grams per week for the past two weeks um, with a weekly uh, Saturday refeed of 430 grams. Sent some progress pictures to my coach, Brandon Wattis, this morning, fully expecting a food drop because, as I know, back in 2018, I was 166 pounds. Um, I'm not saying I have to be that low again. Uh, I think I'll sacrifice way too much muscle being that low again, but we're estimating around 175 pounds should be about stage weight, show weight, give or take. So sent the pictures this morning, and this is why you hire a coach, uh, fully expecting that food was going to come back with a drop this week without a shadow of a doubt. He comes back and tells me, nope, we're going to leave food exactly how it is. We're not adding any cardio. The only thing he wants me to do is I am going to add in Corsair, which is a non-stimulant uh, fat burner um, to assist with getting some more fat off. He thinks my body fat looks low as is, where I'm like, eh, you know, probably could push it further um, and whatnot. And listen, this is the part of the client-coach relationship, and also I am a coach, so... Though he told me that, I immediately went back and again, not complaining, just having a conversation with my coach, open and honest of saying, hey, listen, you know, my 2018 prep, I was this weight to get myself where I, I think I needed to be. Again, not saying we have to go that low, just curious as to why, you know, there's no food drop being the fact that I'm about 10 weeks out now. Um, and like, what's your thought process? Again, not because I don't trust him. It's just so that I can understand like where his brain is at, what he's seeing that I'm not seeing, and what the plan is going forward. So again, these are great conversations to have between coach and client. Because when I'm coaching my clients, I'm like, hey, listen, just trust me. This is the reason why we still have, you know, it, it's always easier when I'm coaching someone else. But when it comes to be me, you know, I'm scrutinizing things a lot more closely. And again, it's me. So it's like I can't be unbiased and I have a different expectation of myself at all times. So I just wanted to get his logic behind it. And what he came back to me was with the current shows that I'm doing, though they definitely want conditioned bodybuilders, they're tending to lean away from being overly shredded, which is what I usually, you know, I do come in pretty shredded. So that made sense to me. He's like, because basically if I came in too shredded, we're going to sacrifice a lot of muscle potentially on the way down. And it may cost me placing, even though I will be super conditioned, um, I'm going to lose some size and therefore suffer a lower placement. And that's what we don't want to do, right? We want conditioning to a point, but we want to maintain as much muscle. So he was telling me that currently at 186 pounds, and again, I'm not sending him doctored pictures, things enhanced on Instagram or anything like that. It's in my bathroom first thing in the morning not top down lighting like you know it's not great lighting so he can get a really good feel for what i look like in the worst lighting possible so if he's looking at me at that lighting and saying we're doing pretty good then we must be doing pretty good um but again he said that i have a very full look he doesn't want to sacrifice that we still have time to get ready without getting too crazy here there will be food drops obviously coming in the future probably even starting next week but the idea is we don't want to get super, super lean and then sacrifice all the muscle that I've built in the off season. So this is going to be interesting where he was projecting 175, but we'll see how we look. And I may actually come in heavier. And if that's the case, I mean, that's like 10 pounds of extra weight or muscle mass that I'm going to be carrying into a show. So I'm really excited and curious to see how that's going to look. So again, it is June 1st. 
Um, I'm at 300 grams of carbs a day. We are not adding any cardio in this week. We are not dropping food this week. The only thing I'm adding in is core sear, which is a non-stimulant fat burner to assist with me getting a little bit more fat off and maybe using some more fat burners throughout. I don't know if we'll ever bring cardio in. I'd rather, I'd prefer not to if we don't have to. The only other kind of, I wouldn't even say scheduled cardio is days that I'm not training. I'm just going for a walk once or twice a day, trying to get maybe 5,000 steps in. I know that's not a lot, but it's, it's better than just sitting behind a desk and not moving. Just for active recovery, get the blood flow and some fresh air. So that's where we stand now. We'll see where this goes.